Well, it's day 38 for me, and this brings me to the Buffalo Ski Club, and I'm riding the chairlift with Jane. And Jane, we got a big air cop going on here we today. We do. Tell me a little bit about that. Well, um, I don't know what to tell you. <laughs> it is the first time we're doing it on this slope. We had to move all the jumps from our south area. But they worked all week and built these huge jumps, and so far it looks like the kids are doing a great job off of it. And the plan is just big air, I guess, right? Yes, it is. What do you think brings these kids out to these big air? Ah, oh, the thrill. It must be the thrill. Yes. It, it, I'm actually starting to get into the jumps a little bit more myself and finding myself liking it, but uh, recovery after a fall isn't always the easiest thing. The thrill of it all. What can you tell me about Buffalo Ski Club? Because I've never been here. You've never been here? Buffalo Ski Club is actually the oldest private club that in the country. Is that right? Yes, that has remained open all the time. Yep. Ah. Um, I don't know. I think it was two years ago we celebrated our 100th anniversary. So it's actually now a combination of two small private clubs and one little public area ha that have melded together. So we're now one club, three areas merged. Ah. Yeah, that, give, that gives you some benefits there. Yeah. One club, three areas merged. Uh -huh. Oh, here they are. Oh, look at that. They're all lined up and ready to go. We're going to check in with some of these kids and see what they got to say and uh, check some big air. John, I just watched you pull off that incredible front flip. That was pretty cool. Yeah. How long have you been doing this? Oh, uh, well, uh, I've been uh, uh, doing freestyle for about five years. Okay. What do you like the most about the freestyle? I probably like the moguls the best. So, Drew, yeah. out in the competition today, what's your favorite trick? Um, sweat. That's the good stuff right there? Yeah. How many different tricks do you actually do in your... Uh, day here. Actually, I train around the fifth tricks my Joofy. Yeah? Yeah. What, what's that consist of? Homemade trick. It's like a daffy, but you use your hands instead of your um, legs. Come on. Down the hill. An adaptive rider out here today. Yes, sir. How many years you been doing this? I've been doing it about 10 years. Yeah, and, and what brought you to this? Well, I'm out here today helping my uh, teammate. We are, ra we are a race team, the Adaptors. We are instructing these little uh, kids out here today, disabled children. Uh, uh, and it's got to be an inspiration for them to see someone like yourself that, you know, got into the sport and actually made it what it is. Yes sir, yes sir, it's a wonderful thing. It's a wonderful thing when you see them come down, you put that smile on their face, and then you know, uh, pretty soon they'll be skiing down with me. All by the city, there's dad, dad just fell. <laughs> and uh, that's uh, my captain up there, we call him Captain Adaptor, Andy. Ah. Uh, but I've been skiing a while, I, I ski with the uh, DAV, Winter Sports Clinic, uh, advanced ski team out in Aspen once a year. So. Uh, Right now, we're taking it easy with this guy, this lesson here.
Well, I've been out and I've had a few runs here at the Buffalo Ski Club, and this place is absolutely amazing. And right now I'm standing here with Matt, the manager. Matt, tell me about Buffalo Ski Club and the benefits of membership. Uh, the benefits of our membership are being able to be involved in all of our kids' programs, the race program, the freestyle program. Uh, you get full year-round year use of the facilities. You know, uh, like I said, only a, a member has use of our um, programs. Um, so the Rustin programs, um, the extreme team is another. It's that's just kind of a, a little bit of an advanced um, lesson program for kids. They do fun things. They have a they have a sleepover. They have a they do one day where they have a campfire on the hill and cook hot dogs. Um, so more than just a, a ski club, it's more a, a social gathering as yeah, well. Yeah, exactly. Yes. Yep. And um, you say all these programs they they come with the the membership. Exactly. Yeah. Well, it's not included in your membership. There's extra fees for them, but right. we only offer them to existing members. Right now, what about the public? Can they can come in and ski at any time? Yes. Yep. Yep. You just pay a higher ticket rate. Right. Okay. And um, on the weekends, are they allowed to come in, or is that yes. for the members yep. and their guests only? Yeah, you can come on a weekend too. Actually, this is a real nice facility, and it's not like there's no lift lines here. I love that. Yeah. you got a good spread out terrain over there. Yeah. You've made some incredible snow out there as we've suffered through with Mother Nature. Yeah, it's been tough this year for sure. What do you think are some of the, the reasons that people want to become a member here at the Buffalo Ski um, Club? The family atmosphere here is um, um, second to none. Uh, you, you can turn your kids, a seven- or eight-year-old kid, loose here on the hill, and you don't have to worry about them. Wandering off with somebody else or disappearing, you know, it's a, it's really is a great atmosphere. Uh, the, uh, you can leave your people leave their ski equipment here overnight all the time. Uh, I've seen skis sit here for a week straight and they just sit on the ski rack. Nobody touches them. Right. So the family atmosphere here is great. Yeah, actually, uh, I was just walking through the lodge over there and it was filled with great smells. Everybody's got a crock pot out there. Right. Everybody's sitting around having a little lunch, and enjoying right. themselves here. Yep, exactly. Well, this is definitely a place that. You can come and ski, so you should come and ski. We're gonna go back out on the hill. I'm gonna, uh, I think I'm gonna get myself a little hot dog over here. These guys got hey. rolling on. Awesome. Yeah, awesome. I'll catch up. Claire. So Mike, Buffalo Ski Club, tell me what prompts you to join a ski club versus just maybe going off to another resort somewhere. Well, Buffalo Ski Club is great for kids. We got three young girls and our nephew here that I'll take lessons. So they give lessons and then gives the adults time to ski a little and then we ski with them after so it works out good and it's nice and close to Buffalo. Nice friendly family atmosphere here for as sure. well. For sure. And how are all the kids making out today? How are you guys doing? Good. Good? <laughs> First time on the big hill for Caitlin here. Ah. And second time for Faith. So So Faith, yeah. this is your second time on the big hill? Yeah. Oh, second day. Do you like it out here? Yeah. You having fun? Uh -huh. You look pretty serious, like you got your ski face on. She's racing her sister. Ah, uh, are you racing? Who's winning? Me. No, you aren't. Yes, I am. No, you aren't. I won. Are you okay? Wow! You're too fast! <laughs> Good one! Well, right now I'm standing with Andy McClellan, who is the head of the adaptive program here at the Buffalo Ski Club. And Andy, an adaptive Hello. skier yourself. I am, three track skier for uh, 35 years. 35 years. That's right. And you know what? For someone that's not aware of what the adaptive program is about, give me an overview of that. Well, it's uh, it, Professional Ski Instructors of America has standards for folks that are involved in adaptive skiing. So it follows the same structure that Alpine or Nordic or, or uh, any type of skiing that's out there. So we have a real structure to it, and it's designed to get people out skiing who otherwise wouldn't, adapting the equipment, using specialized equipment and techniques that get people out to enjoy the uh, great outdoors. And for somebody that comes out that's a first-time adaptive skier, what reaction do you see from most of these people? 
I don't know who's having more fun, the instructors, or the parents, or the kids, because everybody has a great time. To a man, we have a blast. Everybody's smiling, everybody's having a good time, and there's a real sense of accomplishment for the kids. There's a real sense of pride for the parents, and of course the uh, instructors get to feel great about what they're doing. And there's literally almost no disability that you can't conquer and put these kids or, or people on the hill for this type of thing, correct? Absolutely not. And whatever, whatever the disability is or whatever the challenge is, we're going to get them out there. You know, we've got kids here with developmental delays. We've got kids here who are low-functioning cerebral palsy. They get out on the hill. They enjoy it. They smile. They communicate with, with, with whatever way they can. They show their happiness. So we're, we're, it, it's a great feeling, and it's great to get anybody and everybody out to enjoy winter sports. So there you go. You know, the adaptive program is pretty much in most of the ski resorts throughout the state and definitely something you should look into. And it's also something that uh, you're probably always looking for volunteers for as well. We do. We, we could really use volunteers. We always can. Um, we do a, we, we, work, we network with the other ski resorts in the area, and, and it's, it's a great community, and it's a great chance to get involved and, and out on the hill. This place, Buffalo Ski Club, is absolutely, I, I can see what sells this place with the family atmosphere and whatnot, and actually I have the pleasure to ride the chair with Shirley today. Shirley, you tell me you've been here for how long now? 50 years. 50 years? Yeah, well, it was um, Sitzmarker back when I joined it. Oh. In other words, this hill is Sitzmarker Hill. Right, and you, you've probably seen some significant changes come here. Rope toe to this, yes. <laughs> Rope toe to riding the chairlift. Yes. Now, how long have you actually been a skier? 50 plus years, you're, say, you're saying? Oh, yeah. Mm -hmm. And, you know, what keeps you coming back year after year? Family. Yeah, the uh, family. My grandchildren, and I've got a great-grandson that'll be out here <laughs> sooner or later. And this is something that's carried on through the generations with oh, your... Oh, yes. All my children are marvelous skiers. What do you think makes Buffalo Ski Club the special place that it is? Well, look at it. Everyone here takes care of the children. We have a huge influx of, of youngsters coming into the club. This will go on forever. Yeah, you know, it, it, more and more people are bringing their kids out to do uh, skiing during the winter as a, as a family activity. Oh, yes, it always has been here. It always has been for families. What's some of your favorite things about this place? We know you love the family atmosphere. Um, the friends that we've made are just amazing people. Uh, a lot of them, frankly, are from Canada. Uh huh. Uh, so we're quite a mixture of uh, folks, and a lot of them travel a good long ways just to be here on weekends. Yeah, for good reason. And we're getting some pretty good snow here today, too, aren't we? Well, at long last. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> we really needed it, yeah. You know. And a little hillside competition as well. Oh, isn't this beautiful? Look at the youngsters. Now, I've got a grandson that's one of the competitors there, uh, age 11. Oh, is that right? <laughs> He likes to get out there and compete. Oh, yes. yes. Yeah, I'm, I'm actually amazed at the, the time, the effort, and the training these kids put in nowadays for, ah, yes. for this type of thing. Yes, they do. Uh, uh, you know, I babysit in the morning so that the dad can get the, get the older children here. For the, yeah, I mean, it's all, you know, family affair. Buffalo Ski Club, it don't get any more family than this. The Buffalo Ski Club really is a family atmosphere type of place. And being a private ski club, it has its benefits. This is a place you definitely got to come and ski for yourself. That's all good stuff, buddy. All right. Buffalo Ski Club, come and ski this place for yourself. That's the only way to describe it. Good stuff out here.